With nearly 6 million apps available across the App Store and Google Play Store, how can you make sure your app gets found? Well, you'll need a killer ASO strategy. Hey, I'm Zoe from Apps Flyer, and in this video, I'm gonna help you create a winning ASO strategy that increases your app's discoverability and drives more installs. So keep on watching. But first, what is ASO and why does it matter? ASO is about improving the visibility, reach, and conversion rates of apps in the app stores. Now, you might be thinking that ASO sounds like SEO, and you'd be right, only we're talking about app stores and not search engines. While search engines are similar, app stores rank apps based on a number of different factors. And although Apple and Google use different criteria for ranking apps, the basic bones of your app store page will be the same. Now that you know why ASO matters, let's look at how to create a killer strategy. Let's start with keywords. Keywords are how your app gets found. You'll want to use strategic words that match your potential user's intent. So how do you choose the right ones? First, understand your target audience and what they're searching for. Second, look at your current reviews and see what language your customers are using to describe your app. Third, look at the keywords and reviews on your competitors' apps. Where are the gaps you can fill? You can also compare strategic keywords on analytics platforms to see which have the most potential. Next up, you'll need to choose a primary and secondary category for your app. Your primary category should describe the main function or subject matter of your app and will determine its discoverability, while the secondary category helps users determine the other categories your app is most related to. Your app store title will be critical to your discoverability, so keep it simple, memorable, and easy to spell. You'll want to avoid overly generic terms or names that are too similar to existing apps. Since you'll only have 30 characters, be precise. Meanwhile, your app subtitle, which sits just below your app name, should summarize your app's value in a clear and distinct way. Next, an engaging app description is essential to conversions. You'll need to highlight your benefits, features, and capabilities. It doesn't have to be long, although it's a great place to use your strategic keywords. Here's an example of an effective app description. Join your friends and discover videos you love only on TikTok. It works because it creates a sense of belonging while showcasing the experience of exclusive entertainment in just 11 strategic words. Now that we've covered the text on your App Store page, let's talk about optimizing your visual assets, which can be broken down into icon, app previews, and screenshots. Your app icon is the first thing potential users see, so keep it simple and bold so you make a strong first impression. Your screenshots should use images that show your app's user experience. You can also include value-driven on-image text. Finally, your preview should be a 30-second video that shows your app in action. Since the app previews autoplay with muted audio, rely on your visuals to tell the story. And, of course, since we're talking about optimizing, you'll want to A-B test different versions of your App Store visuals and text to see which drives more installs. So, your words are good, you're looking good, what do you need to think about next? Ratings and reviews are a form of social proof that all the successful apps have nailed. And what's the best way to get those ratings and reviews? Just ask. You need to be making things as easy and timely as possible for your users. Use push notifications when you know they'll be feeling good about their app experience. Maybe that's when they've used a new feature, or it could be just after they've received their purchase. Another tip is to reply to those reviews, and even the not so good ones too. We all wanna feel heard. A thank you or even an apology will go a long way. So, now that you've got a strategy to optimize your App Store page, what now? Well, sorry to say, but ASO isn't one and done. You'll need to keep monitoring and optimizing your page over time. 
So let's look at five key metrics and KPIs you can measure to make sure you keep improving. Let's start with the first key metric area, visibility. The KPIs to measure here are your keyword ranking on the search results page, where you are on top of the charts and category rankings, whether you're being featured on the App Store's main page and which similar or related apps are linked to yours. Getting these right will skyrocket your visibility. The next metric group, conversion. There are two main KPIs to look at here. Click-through rate, also known as tap-through rate, will tell you how many potential users have landed on your app page. Conversion rate, also known as install rate, then tells you of those potential users how many went on to install your app. The third metric group you need to monitor is your growth. Overall numbers aren't enough. The KPIs you need to measure are monthly and daily active users over time as those numbers are much better indicators on how users are engaging with your app. On to our fourth metric area. You need to look at your user feedback. The KPIs you can track here are, number one, what's your rating score? Is your app a five star or is there room for improvement? Number two, the number and recency of ratings you have. And number three, the rating to review ratio. You want to be as near to one-to-one -to -one as possible, as written reviews are more persuasive than clicking stars. Let's look at the final metric group, monetization. The KPIs you need to be measuring are your app's total revenue, average revenue per user, and lifetime value of an individual user. Monitoring these monetization KPIs can inform what type of users to aim for, which traffic source they come from, and which factors influence them to convert. And that's a brief overview of how to strategize your own ASO plan and get those organic installs. But before you go, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you've got more questions about this video, comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.